There's hundreds of different ways to do a chicken stew, but this one would have to be one of my favourites. It's a very simple, very classic French way of cooking chicken on the bone. So I've been preheating a sauté pan. I want it to be quite hot. So my thermo signal is solid red, so that's the key indication that it's time to start cooking our chicken. Now, I like to use chicken thighs and chicken legs that are on the bone. I do this because I want to keep the chicken super tender as it cooks. We need to season this with a good pinch of salt. I take the skin off the chicken because it doesn't go crispy when it's being braised like this. So skin off and it's very easy to pull off. And we're going to add a generous amount of pepper and a good glug of extra virgin olive oil into our saute pan, about two tablespoons. And now we're going to seal the chicken on all sides. We're not cooking the chicken at this stage, we're just getting some colour. So we want it to be golden brown. Now I like to call this my spring chicken stew because it's got lots of new vegetables in it. Waxy little potatoes, some baby onions. Look how gorgeous these onions are. I'm going to leave them whole. And to go with the spring theme, some peas. I'm just using my frozen peas because they're full of flavour and they're lovely and sweet. The vegetables are totally interchangeable depending on what you have at home and also what vegetables that you love to add to your stew. I think the main idea for this stew is to get loads of veggies into the sauté pan so you've got a whole meal in itself. So I'm going to cut the carrots into chunks. We want the carrot to be roughly the same size as our onions and our potatoes because we want them to cook at the same time. Now for some garlic, just going to bruise the garlic and just roughly chop it. Excellent. We turn the chicken now. Lovely. Good colour. And I'll just give it two to three more minutes on the other side. And for some mushrooms, I love the addition of mushrooms because it gives it a nice earthy, woody flavour and it's going to give our sauce a good colour too. These are Swiss brown mushrooms. I'm going to cut them in half. I've just got a damp cloth to clean the outside of them from any dirt. But you don't want to wash these mushrooms because mushrooms are like sponges, so it'll absorb a lot of that water. We don't want that. Great, that chicken can come out now onto a plate. And I'll add some pancetta. Pancetta has a really nice, salty, savoury flavour to it. And all of this fat, again, is flavour. I go on and on about flavour, but it does make a difference to the layering of this. So in with our pancetta. This one's already been chopped. We just want to get some colour on this pancetta and allow that fat to render away. I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. You can see that the pancetta is caramelised and a lot of that fat has come out of the pancetta. I'll add my onions. I'm not slicing my onions. These are just little pearl onions. You could also use salad onions. I want them to cook slowly in the stock so they become lovely and sweet. And for presentation, leaving them whole is a great idea. I'm going to coat them in that fat. I'll return the chicken and any juices on the plate. Perfect size there. And I want my sauce to be slightly thick, so I'm going to add some flour. Just a tablespoon of flour. When you are cooking with flour in a stew like this, you need to cook the flour out so you don't get that raw flavour. So we're just going to sprinkle it over. And at this stage, I can also add my garlic. I didn't add the garlic before because I don't want it to burn. And now we're just going to coat the chicken and the pancetta in the flour. I'll deglaze the pan with some white wine. So lots of white wine for this. Use a full-bodied white wine when you're cooking a stew, like a Chardonnay or a Sauvignon Blanc. It's a really good idea. And we can add our carrots now, just over the top. Potatoes. These are Kipfler potatoes, so waxy potatoes. They're going to hold their shape throughout the cooking process. Our mushrooms. Finally, we need some more liquid. So chicken stock, a splash of chicken stock over the top, and a bouquet garni. Now, bouquet garni is a fancy word for a bundle of herbs. In my bundle of herbs, I have some bay leaves, some parsley, and some thyme, and that is also going to flavour our lovely stew. One more very small pinch of salt, because we do have the pancetta in there. 
Okay, lid goes on. This is going to cook for about 35 to 40 minutes or until the meat starts to fall off the bone from the chicken and also those veggies are cooked. The last five minutes, I'll be adding our little peas because they take no time at all to cook. I should mention, this can also go in the oven. It cooks nicely in the oven. 160 degrees for about 45 minutes if you wanted to do that. peas about three minutes ago. You just want to warm them through. I want to keep their vibrant colour. And that's it. This stew is ready to go. Oh, the smell as soon as you open that lid. See how beautiful it is. The presentation in this saute pan is just fantastic. I'm going to portion up one for me. So one of these little chicken legs, look at that. You can see how the meat is tender and cooked because it's exposed the bone there. Those onions and carrots, let's pop on the plate. And a chicken thigh. I'd say two pieces of chicken per person is reasonable. And you can see how thick this sauce is. It's absolutely perfect. Yum. And I have to have a taste of this one. Little chicken, look at that, how tender it is. Some of that sweet onion. Mmm. A classic French dish usually done at the beginning of spring to celebrate all the new vegetables coming out. It is absolutely delicious and you can see how simple it is to do and it's going to feed the whole family.